Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. Sorry, my seat is turned around so that way I can use it in the living area. We've gotten here to Terry and Scott's. We are finally in Washington. Yay! finally find out what was wrong with Panda. There was a check engine light that would come on when she started to act up. Um, so what I did is I took it to O'Reilly's and they hooked the OBD reader to it. It is an OBD one, but they put a two and they had an adapter. Anyways, they read what was wrong with it. And the code that was coming up, I forget the code's number, but it was the EGR valve that was mal malfunctioning. And if you ask what that is, that is this part right here. This is the old one that we took out. And Scotty was nice enough to help me replace it and put in the new one. This one was malfunctioning. There's a um, pressure plate in here that allows air in and that was not working. So that's what it was. The guy actually said once um, he figured out what the code meant that he said yeah that can cause that kind of um, problems that I've been having. So I drove it for a little bit and it did still have a little problems but what we ended up doing is clearing the codes. I just unhooked uh, the positive side, disconnected the battery for about 10 minutes and then I reconnected it to reset the computer and everything started working fine. I haven't had any issues with it since then, but we have been in cooler climates, so that might have something to do with it. I don't know, I guess I won't be able to tell until I get into hotter climates, but hopefully that was fixed. I did take it back to O'Reilly's and I had them connect the OBD reader into it and there were no error codes at all. So hopefully this fixed the problem. Yay! Surprisingly, no one had guessed this. I had got a lot of um, other suggestions, but no one has suggested the EGR valve. I guess most people don't know about it, but yeah, this little booger right here was the problem. In the trash you go. I don't need that no more. One right up here in your steering linkage, one back on the steering linkage. Okay. Up here, under there, and then up top here too. Right. And there should be one on the back side. I think. Okay. Unless this tube goes all the way there. And then the same on the other side. Cool. So, so we'll get her all lubied up. Yeah, because she's been a bit squeaky <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> so Scotty's going to fix that. He's going to yeah. use his... What kind of gun is that? This is just a... a, 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 a Grease gun? A squeezy one instead of a pump one. Right. So, as long as we can... There we go. Let's get it right here. And how do you know when it's full? Uh, usually it'll come out the sides, or it'll get really, really hard. Oh, like it is yeah. a little bit coming. Oh, yep. okay, see. See how? Oop! See how it's coming out up here now. Oh, okay. So we know now we got plenty of grease in that fitting. Awesome! Yay! And then, so that means there's probably one on the other side too, but it, it doesn't. So we'll hit that. I'm not sure which one is squeaking so much, but there is one that squeaks a lot. Or maybe and you can even hear it sometimes just pop when it just when you can't see it. Right. I think it's in the the, the A arm there that was making her squeak because um, really it doesn't look overly uh, uh, non greased. Right. That makes any sense. Yeah. But it's just probably a few little spots where just all the dust we've been in and everything. the dry climates and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Come on, baby, get on there. <laughs> <sighs> So you can hear it pop on, so that tells you that it's it's hooked on. Then you just wait for the pressure. That and then. Okay, so I got that one, that one. And then this one. Well, your rig sits up a lot higher than I thought when we looked the other day, so yeah. this is not too bad at all. No, it's easy to climb under. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to move the, the fitting around some uh -huh. so that it, it gets a good seal and you, you can see that it's going in there. Let's see, I knew, let's see. Cool. Got that one, right? Did I get, I didn't get that one up here. Okay. Awesome. I'm so glad to be having this done. Hopefully no more squeaky squeaky. <laughs>
So new cars don't have this? Most new cars, they barely have any uh, places to uh, lubricate them because they're all like re all sealed. Oh, uh, so you just buy new parts? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. But they do last a long time. Okay, so I got an upper one too. Okay. Um, in the old days, what they would do is when you know when you would have your oil changed, they'd mm -hmm. say uh, oil lube and um, filter, and they would also grease your chassis. You know, oh. grease all this down. So nowadays, there's hardly any. So that's why they can change the oil in 30 minutes because there's not much to grease up. Right. So how many was there total on this side? Um, boy, I don't know. I think I'm at like number six now. Oh, wow. Okay. There's probably like, uh, there might only be like one more on one side or something. Usually it's kind of something like that. And um, how how long before you have to do this again? Oh, 10,000 miles or something like oh, okay, that. Okay, good. I don't think I've ever had it done, so. It's a good thing I'm doing, or you're yes. doing it now. <laughs> so I'm hoping that, I mean, as far as I can tell, um, I can see we're getting them all. Cool. The only one that we might have to do a little later, um, unless you want to fire up the rig, is there's, unless I can get up there, um, like one right up on top. Uh huh. And so you just kind of reach over the, wheel, steer, the wheel. Uh huh. And can get on top, so I might be able to get to that. Oh yeah, I can probably get to it really easy then. Oh okay. Good deal. It's just seeing it sometimes, but so I just clean off the the little nipple, uh -huh. there, and then uh, you can tell when the unit goes down there because it it pops down on it. You, you can actually uh, right. feel it, feel this part snap down on there. You hear that pop? Yeah. Yep, that tells you that you're you're on there. And then you just wait for the pressure. Yeah, when it really good. builds up, then you know that you're you're full. Little fitting there and there. And this is where you're getting your no the squeakiness from is either this upper one or the lower one. Right. Okay, so I can't see. So let me know if it's if it's going out around the sides or not. Will do. Yeah, it's going around the sides. Okay. So I just gotta get a different angle. This is the one I can't see anything of. Yep, still coming out the side. Okay. Your shot is right here, so this might be a little it's how long my this thing is might not be the easiest one. They go outside? Uh huh. Let's see. No, nope, it's going out the sides again. You okay. want me to hold it to it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that feels like it's going in there now. Yeah. Oh! Okay, well, okay. Okay? Yep. Okay. Right, just kind of get that off there because you don't want to be going down the no. road and all of a sudden fling on your rig and be like, what's that smell? <laughs> so there was seven spots here that he had to use the grease pump on. Actually, look at this. It looks like it has about the same amount on each side with the... So seven on this side as well? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I think that's about what, what it is. All right. Cool. Two, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's like oh, nine. Oh, nine? Okay. <laughs> At least that way I know for next time. Yeah. Well, really, if, if you... Like if you take the, the rig in to get to Jiffy Lube, mm -hmm. they should change your oil and grease it all at the same, the same time. time. Yeah, that's that's part of their whole uh, 
you, you know what you pay for right but so many of the cars anymore just have no um they barely have any zerg fittings on my, come on baby come on i think it's about time to replace these tires i've had them as long as i've had panda which is well, on the road, three and a half years, over three and a half years. So they're starting to get to wear. They're worn out. And I just believe it's time. The only problem is that these are 16 and a half rim size. And I heard it was hard to find replacements for that. So I'm going to have to look around and see if I can find replacements. If not, then I might have to change out the whole rim. You got that? No, I'm going to find it in here. I just got the two in the back and then I'll pull the the other ones off I'll take them in there and I'll clean a lot of times they'll get dirty on the back side right and so you just can't get anything through but I'm used to it because um, okay. my tractor does it all the time so I just need to get my, uh, my thing from you and I'll get the two in the back and then I'll get my part there. And let me look at this because it might be easier for me to actually hold it on there and if you can reach it, have you? Oh, oh, okay, oh this cool. is too far underneath here. Oh, okay. Here you go. That way I can clean around the edges. This one's. Did you hold it on last time? Yeah, I think so. I can't, um. Yeah. I really can't see much at all. Kind of hard to hold it. I can't see though. But I'll hold it on. Okay, I don't think it's on there yet because I didn't hear it snap. No. Should I turn this wheel so maybe it's easier? Well, that won't that won't change the position of positioning of that. Oh, okay. Of the zert fitting. Um, I know, but this wheel seems to be in the way. Uh, I just gotta. You're almost there. That's where it goes. If I can, if I'm on it, but you're on it's it. It's the uh, angle that it's at, so now oh, it feels like I'm not getting anything in there. <sighs> I don't see it coming out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of went into my hand. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this one just seems like it has to have a. Yeah, that one's not. There's nothing coming out though. Oh, it's, it's going into my hands. <laughs> oh. But part of it must be going in there because I really popped that a bit. But, yeah, uh, there's nothing coming out right okay. now. So let's put that there. I mean, um, I think that was... That was it? Every one... Yeah, there's only two back here. Let me okay, just... Okay, cool. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> is it comfy? Grass is nice and soft? It is. Yes. <laughs> Momo having a lazy moment, relaxing in the grass. Are you relaxing in the dry grass? <laughs> and back to sleep. So this surf fitting is... Being, there we go. Oh, uh, had a problem. The ball wasn't going in. Uh, that's so. my guess. Or it's got a lot of stuff on the back side of it. Right. That won't allow the... Uh, um grease to go in so what if we'll get it on there sometimes you get lucky and you just can push it on and, and not have to worry about yeah. it so sometimes being the lefty things don't work out here do you want me to oh. do the gun or you got oh. it i don't know it just doesn't seem to be taken let me uh i'll take it out and it's probably just really uh dirty on the other side. So okay. Hopefully I grabbed the right wrench. Oh, wait, not that. 
you just take the dirt out like that and I can see it's dry so then you can bring it out here probably have to go get a wrench to pull our pliers to pull it out so you can see they'll get really dirty on that side that one doesn't look that dirty but so you can just take it clip it in there and see if anything's coming out so it's taken a little so it's, oh, okay. it's cleared now okay so but now the fun part is always after you put it in this getting it back out yep Huh, easier Good than, job. Easier than it seemed to be. That was easy enough. Yeah, well, when you can get to them, it's nice. Right, right. <laughs> when they're in a, Awkward. a bad place, sometimes yeah. it's... I can't see it, but... Oh. Switch arms. You want me to um, pump I, I might. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do okay. it. Okay. Okay. Okay, go for it. Is that good? Well, I assume something's got to be going in there because it was coming around the sides before and going in there. So, so that one might be full already. Yeah. I think we're, we're we're good there. That should be that's all of them. I think I got this one. Let me uh, cool. let me put this up here. Let me. It's gotta work its way in or it's ready. Yep. Hold on. Did you see it? Do it again. Okay. Not the shock. So we're thinking that they might have skipped this one when greasing the points because um, it's so hard to get to. There's one that's really hard to get to back there. Nothing is ever easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it has grease on the side, but um. Wanna see if make sure I can get something in the hole there. Right. Okay, it's, okay, it's going in the hole. It's a tiny. Look how tiny that hole is. Yeah. Looks. Oh, oh. I mean, let's just have a lot bigger hole than that. There we go. There we go. We had a bunch of. Boogers. Yeah. Oh, it's not coming through. Oh, oh, oh there, there it goes. goes. So it's just. It's going to take it slowly. Go in, baby. Go, go, go. Oh. Somewhat is going inside, so go ahead and. Keep on going. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I sure am glad that's done. Thank you, Scotty, for all your help. I'm just sitting in my tent relaxing a little bit before we have to go eat. We're going to go in a moment. Um, I do want to show you one thing that I did do. I was finally able to install this fan here. There, it does work. Hold on. Let's see. What I did is I actually wired it to this light. I just borrowed power from this light right here since it was so close because there was no power going to this area besides that. And in order to use this vent cover, it would not fit normally, so I had to create a box. Scotty helped me cut this box right here. And then uh, we put it together and I painted it and then installed it. It works great now and I can still use this vent cover that helps keep light out.